Well, good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. Always good to see you, Anne Marie. And I'm Errol Barnett. Vlad is on assignment. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you right now. Fears of a recession persist. Coming up, we'll have the latest unemployment numbers and tell you what the Fed chair is telling Congress. The January 6th committee is set to hear testimony on former President Trump's alleged attempts to manipulate the Justice Department. We're going to have a preview for you. That's right. Also on Capitol Hill, a Senate vote on major gun legislation legislation that could come as soon as today we're keeping a close eye on proceedings plus dr david agus is back to answer your covid related questions as vaccines for children younger than five begin rolling out we're going to get his recommendations on which one you should ask for and what the side effects are and this is a real treat olympic soccer gold medalist and world cup winner brianna scurry is here she'll talk about her trailblazing career and how she paved the way for athletes to be their true selves on this anniversary of Title IX. And quickly, we want to show you live pictures coming to us right now from the White House. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris, you see them there. They're meeting with injured veterans that and their family members. The we'll keep a close Chicago. eye on this it's event. Safe. And if uh, President Biden takes questions House. from reporters, we'll bring that to you uh, as soon as that's in there from the White Where House. Yeah, yeah, the president's all, uh, all smiles right there. But I know, you know, he's dealing with some other issues. That's he's trying right. to get, you know, a gas tax holiday uh, implemented to give everyone a little less pain at the pump. A lot of congressional resistance to that exactly. idea. Exactly. Because you know what? The economy's not looking so hot right That's now. right. We're getting to all of that coming up. But first, the number of Americans filing for first-time unemployment benefits, it dropped last week. According to the U.S. Department of